love The Legend of Zelda, but long for the days before Link rode around on a boat, donned a variety of masks, or transformed into a wolf. 3D Dot Game Heroes is either an homage or a complete ripoff, but it's still eminently enjoyable because it hones in on what makes Link's early adventures so incredible. The high difficulty from the original Legend of Zelda has been left on the curb here, so don't expect to be lost in the vast overworld or stuck in an exceedingly challenging puzzle. But the charming world and whimsical characters do a fine job of scratching a nostalgic itch for anyone craving an old school adventure, and it's clever enough to entertain those unfamiliar with the source material. Greedy really Heroes is played from an overhead perspective, just like the adventures of a certain green-clad elf, and the overworld stretches far off in every direction. There's always a flashing red dot on the map pointing you towards your next destination, but there are so many treasures off the beaten path that it's easy to get lost exploring for hours. The amount of side quests is staggering, and if you want to partake in every optional activity, a little bit overwhelming. There are very few clues or other such guides nudging you toward any specific goal, so completing side quests often involve talking to every citizen you happen upon in the hopes that they will have a job for you. It's not ideal, but it does give the game an organic feel, and the fact that many of these quests are time sensitive makes it seem like these blocky citizens lead lives independent from your own. The smattering of docile enemies on the overworld do little more than die at your steady blade so you'll have to enter a dungeon to find any sort of challenge. These underground labyrinths have the requisite puzzles that have been seen in countless other games, urging you to push blocks, hit switches, and bomb holes in the walls like the best adventurers are known to do. Even though the puzzles will not exactly leave you scratching your noggin, these dungeons are still a lot of fun. The maze-like design makes it easy for the unprepared to get lost, and it's a thrill to figure out how to pass through a locked door or clear out a room full of sassy mages. The dungeons in 3D Heroes are predictable and a little on the easy side, but they are still loads of fun because of the satisfying combat and intricate map design. At the end of each of these dungeons is an oversized boss to provide the most thrilling combat moments in the game. Yes, these are purely pattern-based, but that doesn't mean they're easy. Even though you unlock secondary weapons in every dungeon, these tools are used more as solutions to puzzles rather than deadly weapons, so you'll have to use your sword in these boss battles to slay the beasts. This means that agile movement and sure attacks are the keys to success, and defense is imperative because they can so quickly sap away your health. The one aspect of 3D Heroes that separates it from its inspiration is the art design. Every character, enemy, and environmental decoration is made up of tiny blocks, which makes everything look like a piece from a childhood toy. This charming aesthetic paves the way for a simple-to-use character creator that lets you design your own hero to play as in this epic quest. There are a number of pre-made characters such as a knight in shining armor, a sneaky land shark, and even a tank, or you could conjure whatever resides in your imagination to give the game a bit of your personal touch. The only downside is how limited the editor is. You can't design your enemies, other characters, or pieces of the environment. Even more disappointing, you can't design your own dungeons either. It's still neat being able to craft your own hero, but using this tool to design more elements of this game would have been awesome. 3D Dot Game Heroes is a wholesale imitation of the original Legend of Zelda, but that doesn't detract from the fun one bit. The expertly designed overworld hides so many secrets inside missions that it's easy to wander around it for hours, and the devious bosses provide satisfying duels. The dungeons do veer a bit on the easy side, and there isn't enough original content to really surprise Zelda veterans, but this is still enjoyable from beginning to end.